Nations that spend too much face very difficult choices and options. One is to actually return to the paths of virtue and bring the public spending under control through a combination typically of raising taxes and cutting spending. This can be done, uh, but it can often take a very long time. But it's certainly better than the alternatives. The other two alternatives are, first of all, for the government to repudiate its debt. Uh, in some ways, this is actually the least painful but it does mean that in future, nobody is going to lend money to that government except at prohibitively high rates of interest. Uh, and this in itself is not good, not least because it raises the general level of interest rates in that economy, which has all kinds of negative effects on economic activity. The more common solution, unfortunately, is for the government to resort to inflation and to inflate away the value of the debt by depreciating the currency. There are already alarming signs that this is what the American administration is thinking of doing. In the long run, also, uh, totally dysfunctional public finances are associated with dysfunctional politics and dysfunctional government. And historically, they've often been a major cause of serious political unrest and upheaval, even revolutions, as in the French case, for example. Increasing taxes to get out of debt is better than the alternative route of causing inflation, which is in fact in this sense just another kind of tax. However, it's ultimately undesirable, simply and straightforwardly for two reasons. The first is that taxes inhibit and distort economic activity, as any economist will tell you. So to the extent that you raise taxes, you are going to slow down or reduce economic growth and the increase in human well-being. The other thing is the principled one, that a rise in taxation means an increase in the proportion of income that is decided and allocated by the political process rather than by personal and individual choice. And that is a bad thing to do on civil liberties and independence grounds. So therefore, the best way of dealing with the kind of fiscal crisis that many countries face today, not least the United States, is to cut spending and to reduce the number of things that the government does.